Hey guys, uh, welcome back. Today in day 7 part 3. Uh, as uh, in day 7 we were talking about the closures. Uh, from closure we will talk about capturing value. A closure can capture value, constants and variable from their surrounding. Yeah, we can start our playground. I already did that and we will go over that. So let's go to our resource which is in uh, swift.org language guide closure. Capturing value. A closure can capture constants and variable from the surrounding context in which it is defined. Okay. The closure can then refer to and modify the value of those constants and variable from within its body. So, this is the point. And even if the original scope that defined the constants and variables no longer exists. So, when you get that, that uh, constant or variable, gonna capture it and can modify it. Then, then it's a clone copy. It doesn't uh, matter what was that number, and if it changed, no like this, uh, no exists anymore. Still, we have it in our closure. In Swift, the simplest form of a closure that can capture value is a nested function, written within the body of another function. A nested function can capture any of its other function arguments and can also capture any constants and variable defined within the other functions. So here an example that we will use it in, uh, you know, in our uh, playground is make incrementer. So here we go. So we have a function make in incrementer and inside that function we have running total and we have a one, uh, you know, parameter uh, we will get by the name of amount so we have it so inside the uh, you know a nested function we use this and return running total so we will change the running total by this incrementer because we get amount and we return finally incrementer so the return type of make incremented is integer. This means uh, it's return a function rather than a simple value. So return is this, is not integer. It's, okay, it's a function. This is the point. And uh, rather than simple value, the function it's return has no parameter and return an integer value each time it is called. To learn how function can return a function, see function types as return type. If you remember, in day 6, we went over this. Let me open it for you. And uh, if you look at, uh, I believe, uh, uh, I don't know which part of it was, but uh, we went over function. In day 6, we went over function types as return and, uh, you know, find uh, how can be, you know, a function uh, for return. This is all details uh, we went over. Okay, so uh, so for incrementer, uh, you will see that how easy now we can work and uh, you know, actually it's uh, doing capture for us. So, just let me read this note as well. As optimization, Swift may instead of capture and store the copy of value if the that value is not mutated by a closure and if the value is not mutated after the closure is created Swift also handle all memory management involved in disposing of variable when they are no longer needed so here we go. so we will make uh, you know one constant by the name of increase uh, in, uh, incremented by 10 and then uh, we get make incremented uh, from increment for, sorry, for increment 10. And here we see. So first of all, value is 10. Let me run it until here. 
So first value is 10. Then when we run this again, gonna be 20, gonna be 30. So it's captured that value. And here we make by 7 and we do adding to 7. This one 40 to 10. So 30 gonna be 40 and this one gonna be 14. So this is how it's work. And finally, if you assign a closure to a property of a class instance and the closure capture that instance by referring to the incre uh, you know, instance uh, or its member, you will create a strong reference cycle between closure and the instance. Swift use capture lets to break this strong reference cycle from more information, see strong reference cycle for closure, which is in one, uh, you know, later we, uh, we will go over, here we go, in automatic reference continu uh, continuing, we will go over this, and which is what is a strong reference cycle for closure. Yeah, in next part, uh, we will go over that uh, let you know that closure of our reference type and what that mean. Okay, that's it uh, for today. I hope you like uh, the video. If you like it, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. And also, don't forget to be subscribed for more videos all, all coming every day. And if you have any question, please ask in comment below. I will be more than happy to help you and uh, answer your uh, questions. And I wish the best for you. Have a good one. Bye-bye.